How's it going? Acid Burn here, coming on a one, gonna do another review. Bear with me, it is really, really freaking hot out here, and oh my god. Alright, so, got some latest stuff. Not the new stuff, not yet, because, like, you know, everybody's finding them all over the place, but where I live, they're nowhere in sight. But, went to, uh, Fighter Corners, and got some stuff. Some really good stuff. Um, for example, well, first of all, if I show you this real quick, my little booklet. I'll introduce you to Fighter Corners. Uh, there's our address, uh, Facebook, and give them a call. They have some really good stuff there, like really good stuff there. Um, freaking old school video games, anime, toys, I mean, movies. Uh, I think I already said that. But um, yeah, check them out. Um, so, okay. First things first, I want to show you guys is that everyone knows about this toy, the Mouser. It came with the April O'Neil. Now, there's been solo ones out there that you can actually buy a full pack of these guys. I don't know, I've never seen it, but people have been talking about it. But if you go to like Swamp Means or maybe, you know, uh, Friday Corners, you can get a whole bunch of these and have your little Mouser armies. As you can see. Yeah, so, this one is like a nice. Beautiful metallic kind of grayish kind of color with a um, yellow light for his eyes, and it comes with April O'Neil. And um, I have at least two of them. However, there's a series later on in the future uh, called the SWAT team or the SWAT series. It's like three different series. Uh, what they did was Casey Jones, um, the Turtle Tro uh, Bot. Uh, all the fighting gears, turtles, and they repainted them into black clothes. It's really cool, including the, on the what do they call it, the battle shell for the, the vehicle, and they painted that black for the for the SWAT vehicle. I mean, it's a big list, and it's really cool, very rare, very expensive. But um, I only got two now, and those of you the reason why I'm showing that Mouser one because here is the SWAT version of the Mouser. It is metallic. Blue, but like a navy blue kind of color. It has like little, like little glitter spots all over to make it all shiny and everything. And I couldn't believe I found this over there. It's like wow, I haven't seen these for a while. And the pack comes with um, I think about like five or six of these um, blue uh, SWAT mousers. So if you find one of these blue ones, again, they're going, they're super rare. Seriously. So we can show you a comparison on these two right here. And of course a new version of the Mousers as well. Now the other little thing, I don't have them complete. But once I do, I will make another review. But this is from the Next Mutation series. Uh, he is one of the, what do you call it, the bad boy biker, Raphael. And he comes with a motorcycle that shoots out like a rocket. But, you know, I got this from uh, Fighters and I, you know... I don't know if they have the, the vehicles, which I hope they do, so I can complete this one. I could not believe that I found this. I mean, I looked all over for this one, and he is one of the rarest ones. There's a double pack, so... And, um... Complete with, like, everything with no damage on the box has gone up to, like, 100 bucks in the MLC. Just having... Seriously, I mean, I'm not kidding when I say this. Just having him outside of the package, just like this... People were asking like 20 bucks for this. I got it for cheap. So, uh, yeah, this is this is really a mind blowing right here. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, wait, I recognize that, you know? Was... <laughs> so, we're going to do up and close on this and this. I want to do this, this one by myself, but I'm like, eh, it's going to be a short review, so let's add on this one. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's do up and close, shall we? I'm gonna show you this one first. Very excited to show you this. So yeah, like I said, um, it's just a double pack. Goes with a motorcycle. One of the high rarest uh, next mutation um, figure. Like you see, like he's giving that little eyebrow raise right here because his eyes are bigger than the other one. I really do like these uh, turtle toys. I really do. Uh, the helmet does not come off, so don't bother with that. It's actually part of the the mold. 
I like how the the mask is all like torn. Kind of like in a TV show. His leather jacket. So it is very shiny, very pretty kind of black, jet of black kind of color. And his biker glove, of course. Uh, the movements are simple, you know, just tip your typical head move left and right. Doesn't do the whole round thing like their new version. The arm does go out a little bit, not too, too much. So you can actually hold on to his bike. His legs, little chops. I think that's what they're called, the chops. I'm not sure what's the name of it. Okay, so you're curious, 1997, Morgan Studio Playmates Toys. Uh, of course, I don't know, they didn't really paint this piece right here on its leg, but I guarantee it's supposed to be black. So this is my first time ever holding this in my hand. Not the first time holding my hand, but the first time ever owning this and actually seeing this up in, in person. Uh, so like I said, I was really excited to see that. So now I finally own one, and looks it looks fantastic. It stands actually like perfect. And like I said, um, none of the mutation turtles actually will fit with the old school and uh, new school uh, vehicles. So you know, don't bother. But I like that. I, like, I really do like the shine on the on the belt. How it's all metallic and shiny, and same thing with his jacket. Very nice, very nice. I love shiny stuff. Or somebody's outside yelling. Now, I'm uh, sure you've seen this one before. Here's Turtlebot, right here. Now, like I said, they changed the colors for the SWAT um, version. There you go. I've done a review of these guys already. I will put the link down underneath it. Unless there's a blockage because of the whole music things. So if it's not, good. Cool, 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 cool. But I'm pretty sure you already can tell the colors are all different. Everything's the same. I do love the SWAT version. Like I, But, like, here we go. Put this down a little bit. Now here's the mouser. Your regular mouser that you get from April now. But like I said, there there was a thing been going around years back that um, they actually have a full pack of the mousers only, so you can actually add on to a little army of mousers. Which I never once saw in my life, so I don't I can't really tell you that there is one out there. Go get it. But I never actually saw one. So I can't really say, you know, I don't want you guys wasting your time looking for it. But if you do have the actual package, dude, seriously, um, show it to me. If you have a video of it, tag it on here. <clears throat> show it to me on Facebook. I mean, I really want to see what it looks like, the whole package. So I actually have proof that there's a bonus pack full of these ones. But, however, I'll show you just what it looks so far right now. This is from the April Neil. Uh, it comes with two. As you can see, there's a spring in there. And of course, this bad boy. The blue one. I think the blue one has a beautiful chrome look to it. I mean, it's the exact same uh, molding. Don't get me wrong. It's just different painting. And honestly, this one is the rarest one. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a bit hurting. But uh, with this series, I th believe it comes with this, the Turtle Bot, and Casey Jones. No, no, I didn't take that back. It comes with uh, two fire, uh, fire gear. I think one is Michelangelo, and one of his uh, Leonardo. I believe. I had to double check. It's been a while since I actually saw the cover. But yeah, it comes with two fire, uh, fire gear turtles. And a vehicle, which is um, the piece of, sh uh, piece of shooter, but it's the uh, sewer launcher, but they repainted it into black, and they put the word SWAT on there, and it comes with these mousers, so I put, like I said, I think it comes with like, f 
least five or six of these monsters. I can't really remember. I had to look it up again. It's been like I said, it's been a while. But however, I don't know if there's supposed to be a spring to you know put the shooters back up. <clears throat> but it doesn't have that thing like the other one does. But like I said, it does look really cool like this. So if you see a blue mouser, I know there's people out there who've been collecting all the Baxter Stockman's uh, stuff, but you got to get your hands on this one. This one is the rarest one for uh, the mousers. And to compare it with the little one, that's pretty much how small it is. Little teeny tiny one. And the mouth is a little bit more closed and opposite. So the teeth on top is on the bottom. And of course, with these ones, you could actually um, <clears throat> build the army because it has a like I think it's like a seven pack version of all different colors. Like I've done a review on the monsters. I would put this one underneath it so you can see and check out the review for this one. Um, Weird thing is that the uh, inside her mouth is not actually all painted, except for the one in all in black. So you actually can see the, the little red inside of the mouth, which looks really cool. So, yeah. Um, and like I said, as you can see, this is like the mama and the baby and the papa. Not really. So you can see the difference that they're actually smaller than the, on a new version. To me, honestly, the 2K version is a lot more shinier than the, than the new version. And of course the mount doesn't like shut on me, it just stays open. So that's um, my little review, I guess. <laughs> that's one of the shortest one. So like I said, Get your hands on the blue one. Because it is one of the rarest one for the, you know, the, the SWAT series. The SWAT series are actually, like I said, the, the most high priced one for the, the 2K version. Anyway, if you have them, seriously, take good care of them, please. And if you have the bad boy biker raft, man, like I said, take good care of your stuff because the longer the year comes, or goes the higher they become worth. But to me, I like to keep my turtle toys. I'm not here to trade or you know sell them. I'm a, I'm a collector. So um, push like if you like this review. Push like if you like you know the mouser, the blue in the blue version. If you like the swap version of the series, or if you like Bad Boy Wrath. As you can see, he's a little bit taller than that turtle bot. But, um, yeah, so put your, put your likes on here, because yeah, it really will help me out a lot. And share it with your friends. Share if you like those Ninja Turtles rare stuff, a comparison or whatever. And share with your friends and tell them, hey, check this video out. It would be really cool. Uh, put your comments down and tell me what you like better. You like the blue one better than the, the regular, you know, metallic look to it? Or you like the metallic better than the blue? Are you not even knew the SWAT version actually exists out there? Feel free to Google it and, and check it out. There's a, there should be some pictures out there of this whole series. Um, I will put the review, for, like I said, for the April O'Neil one because it comes with the mouser. I will put the review for the Turtle Boss. And I will put the review for the new version of the mouser. What else I could put under here? I could put the new version. We'll see. Let's get the mousers. Turtle bot. I think that's about it. So. Yeah, so like I said, if you just because you don't have the full spike or you just found the bike without the turtle, get the bike because you never know later on in the future you might get the figure later on. That's my word to you guys, so check it out. Um, I'm trying to think what else I could say. I mean, this is a short review. 
So yeah, put your comments down. Tell me if you actually own one. And if you, like I said before, if you own the one with a full pack of these guys, the silver ones, please tell me. And I, I've been hearing rumors about that since years and years now. Um, tell me what do you guys think about where Raphael, how Raphael looks and everything. With his jet black um, leather and everything. Um, how much did you pay for yours? Uh, did you bought it when it first came out? Stuff like that. All right. All right, so I looked online so I could get a better memory. Um, yeah, so it's a big box set. Let's see, where'd he go? And with these little blue mouser ones, there's actually, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these um, mousers. So if you're trying to get the whole set, remember, there's only six of these. Well, unless you're like me, well, if you find a whole bunch of mousers, just, just get them. You know, it's an army of mousers. It'd be so cool. However, this comes with... The Fighting Gear Donatello, Fighting Gear Leonardo, but remember, they're painted black. So it's going to be difficult if you don't have the full um, armor. If it's just him by itself, it could be difficult. So it, it comes with that. And it comes with the helicopter, the chopper, that is also painted black. And the battle shell, painted black. I mean, that's a full set. That is pretty cool. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, I also have a, the very first um, SWAT um, review on here. It's a Raphael one on his motorcycle. And it comes with like a foot tech, but it's mixed with another foot soldier all together. And it's also black. I'll put that review underneath this one. So you go ahead and check it out. I mean, it is cool. However, let's see if I can blow it up for you guys. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see this from the camera or not. <clears throat> but this is what they look like right here. Pretty sweet. How cool they look. Yeah. So, I've seen these before. Oh, and then the helicopter could attach, they attach to your battle shell, the SWAT version. Um, I saw a few of them, and like I said, once they came to the store, boom, they were gone. It, it, was, it was out of the shelf. Everyone bought them. Look like I got my hands on the Raphael one. So, um, yes, yeah, SWAT Battle Pack is what it's called for these guys. So, remember, if you're trying to collect them or trying to get the series. So, yeah, I say, hell yeah, get, <laughs> you got to get your hands on these SWAT, um, SWAT um, series. I mean, it is the coolest thing ever been created from the Ninja Turtles and everything. The paint is great. The idea is great. It is so dark. It's so cool at the same time. It's so good imagination for your turtle toys. And it's serious and everything that is just mind blowing. And also, of course, you get your if you find seriously, if you find what is it called? Bad boy biker raft, get your hands on him because like I said, people like like mean people like to charge this one twenty dollars and up just like normal like this because he he is rare um so yeah get your hand on these and like i said if you only find the motorcycle first and you don't find a figure don't go like eh well it doesn't have to figure with it that's okay get the bike first or get the weapon first because later on you're going to find the toy and when you find the actual figure well there you go you have it complete so remember don't just you know brush it off your shoulder because you never know what you're going to find. Seriously, I did not expect to find this. I could not believe I found this. this sorry. Precious. I'm sorry. Anyways, so yeah. Add these to your collections, people. Push like. If you like the review, push like if you like the toy. Share with your friends. Uh, it will definitely help me out. And uh, take care of yourself. And happy hunting, everyone. See you later. Bye. Alright, so it's eBay time, and behold, to crap your pants. This is a broken down, scratch up, broken arm, Leonardo. And before I show you the price... Oh man, yeah. You got a back shell, it's all scratched up from the concrete and everything. Yeah, I know what you guys do with it. So, this thing is... Being free shipping, 
Ooh, free shipping. But the guy wants seven dollars and fifty cents starting bid. To buy it now is ten dollars. Let me pull a rabbit out of my butt and we'll see if you can find as much money to give to this guy. Uh who's doing it? Oh yeah, this thing right here. This guy is selling it. Purple Star. How ignorance can this guy be? Um I won't even give this guy a dollar for a broken scratch out toy. This is how people are taking advantage of us fans. Well, fans are stupid. I'll put the price on it. Yeah, okay, why? Because it has an intro on it? No. I give you a dollar. <laughs> so, yeah, put your comments down. And tell me what you guys think about this goofball. I really hate eBay sometimes, especially the people on there. Good old Amazon, I think. Well, I'm probably sure there's some best stuff on her too, but I'm not sure. Well, anyways, yeah, this is the price. Here's the thing, Dingleberry, who's uh, selling it, and here's the broken toy, who's think he's so cool with it. Ooh, look how tall he is. That makes him more difficult and more difference. Whatever. Yeah, put your comments down.